All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've been doing something lately because we are drawing to a close here on the late night show. During the last two weeks, uh, we've been showing some of our favorite moments from the past 16 seasons, clips that our staff liked, clips we really liked. I'm out of breath from doing a string dance. <laughs> That is a new definition of out of shape. <laughs> Pretending there were strings attached to my hips tired me out. <laughs> it is definitely time to hand over this show, yeah. Well, back in the spring of 2005, I was really sick of being cooped up in the studio, so I headed outside to enjoy spring in full bloom. In fact, I decided to go over to Central Park and try my hand at bird watching. Now, I didn't know a lot about birding, as it's called, so I went with some diehard birders, and here is what happened. I'm in Central Park with some uh, diehard bird watchers. This is Star Sapphire. And yes. you, you lead this group, is that right? I've been leading this group for 20 years. This is tough for me. We're here at, uh, it's like 7 in the morning. This is very unusual for me. I don't really start rolling till about four in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Four in the afternoon, my butler is awakening me. I'm given a, a, a bath of heavy cream, and then I'm escorted to my rickshaw and taken to work. So this is rough. You use yeah. your ears a lot. We use our ears a lot. We, while we were talking, we were hearing a prairie warbler, and uh, what else were we hearing? American robin, a few things. Yeah. I hear, I hear a bus. <laughs> What's a life list? A life list is just a list of uh, a record of all the birds you've seen in the world. You can have a North American life list, a world life list. Wow. I have sort of a life list. It's the ladies. <laughs> Ow! But you may get some, bird, uh, some birds for your life list this morning. I hope you do. I hope I find another lady for my life list. Sorry. American robin, isn't it? American the robin right back there. It's a beautiful bird, a red breast, a thicket of uh, black plumage uh, tapering off the neck down into the back. Uh, three wings instead of the usual two. It has no legs. It gets around in a wheelchair. But it warbler's been singing. <laughs> There's uh, chestnut side of the song is described as please, please, please to meet you. And, and... Says that so, so some of the calls are actual phrases. A bird will actually ha say something. It sounds a lot like a sentence. It sounds to us like, like a, hey, a buddy, how you them. doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> buddy, how you doing? That's it. Would be like a call. That's it. Could be. <laughs> Want to buy some corn for a dollar? Want to buy some corn for a dollar? Would be a call. I bought a hat, but I'm going to take it back. I bought a hat, but I'm going to take it back. I think it might be a good idea if we had, we don't want to make noise, obviously. Sure. Hand signals. This means proceed. Mm -hmm. This means let's come to a halt. Okay. This means everybody down. It means there's birds in the area, but we're not sure what kind of bird. This would mean the bird has been identified. Okay. Something like this means someone with a beard is coming. The other thing that I have to tell you about that, so you make hand gestures and any bird that's near you is gonna fly, is gonna leave. So what do you recommend if we see a bird how should we, and we can't make hand gestures, what do you recommend? Speaking. Speaking? Yeah. You so how about like I see a, a, I, I see a bird, there's a bird, you know, whatever. I hear a bird. That's not fun. By the way, have you had that beard a long time? Yes. Swallow, low to the water, going left, going up. Just coming at you, coming at you, just going by you to the left. Coming at me, what do I do? <laughs> What's this here? What's this? Oh, double-crested cormorant, good. I spotted one, did you see that? I spotted one. That's on my life list now. I have yes. a double-crested cormorant, uh, two pigeons, and a, a dead bird, a seagull. <laughs> yeah, if we could see some birds mating, that would be, I'd like to film it and then sell it to this Dutch company. <laughs> I see it. And then there's a white heron beyond it. Great egret. You were close. Great egret, white heron, really different names, same bird. <laughs> this is a birding group here. And this is another birding group up here. So it's about to get... 
pretty nasty. I think I'll just take this group. This is New York City Audubon. The executive director and right. the president. And I so could on. take that Let's group. Go there. My feeling is there's really only room for one of our groups. <laughs> so we're going to fight you know, this so out. Tell them, Star, what have we seen so far today? Great egrets. We haven't actually seen all that much yet, but we had no, we had. Oh, don't, don't, say oh, don't say that. Don't say that. She's been drinking. <laughs> You know that I saw a male summer tanager. Yes. Heard it yes. Summer tanager. Summer tanager. Female summer tanager. I saw a right. hermaphrodite tanager. <laughs> I saw a tanager that kind of goes both ways. If you know what I'm saying. There are such. We saw two white-faced storm petrels in a cab headed north. <laughs> Uh, Unless actually, you really know what you're doing. Oh. That's Wilson Storm Petrol. No, they're, they're seen off of New Jersey every year. I just haven't been on the right boat yet. Get her! Get her! Yeah. That was great. Did you oh, see that? Thank she you. came at you with this, and you were like, I don't think so. And you did. <laughs> Have you seen a bush tit? Absolutely. Who <laughs> did All over the place. You're so immature. You are so immature. Bush tit. <laughs> You think I look like a bird? I do think you look like what? a red-headed woodpecker. I agree. <laughs> What's the best way to attract a bird if not with a signal? Another bird. Hi, I'm Phil. I want to fool other birders. Now, if you all train your binoculars, we're going to fool some people. ladies for just a second no, no. i don't know about you but i could use a little uh use a little refreshment 